What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, me and my beautiful little wife over here. Every week I bring you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things will hopefully accelerate, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. I like that word, accelerate. Accelerate, That's right? It yeah. means speeding to get there. Mm -hmm. right? We want to make sure we're doing it the right way too. So every week we're bringing you guys these great tips and tricks and information, like I said. And uh, it's something that me and Sharice maybe have went through through our 15 years of relationship here um, and marriage and kids or different things that we picked up either from couples that we know or have seen out and about. So at that point, we can help you guys because you know what? Love's not easy and relationships are not easy sometimes either. Sometimes they can't. Yeah, they won't. I mean, it's easy with John, but sometimes it really can't be easy. Yeah, so at that point, it's always a work in progress, right? So you wanna be the best you can for your partner and vice versa, reciprocating that back. So this week uh, is, is a good one, I think, for couples too, as well as single people. Because if you're single, don't worry. Just take all this great information that we're giving you guys, store it in the back of that head, and at that point, utilize it for your future relationships, and hopefully that'll be a successful one. But, you know, when we talk about life's pressures mm -hmm. and how to deal with it, whether you're a couple or you're a single person, you know, I, I think there's pros and cons to both avenues, unless you have a good partner, okay? And, you know, the, the pro is to me, I think that when you have a partner there and it's a good partner, you know, when you are going through life's problems of whatever it is, now that might be affecting both of you guys at the same time too. So this could kind of veer the partner away then at that point. But if it's going through it by yourself and your partner's there, then they can support you and help you and, and kind of get you back to where you need to be and make sure you don't go too far down and spiral, right? Because it happens to people. Mm -hmm. Um, they get down on themselves and, and you know sometimes people can't pick themselves back up and that's what a good partner can do for you mm -hmm. now uh, you know on the other end of it if you know there's something that's affecting both partners at the same time or the situation that affects you guys both right um then at that point you're gonna have to work with each other right. because you're both down it can be tough right? too because i mean if you guys are both going through something at the same exact time whether it's over one thing together or you guys are both let's say you guys are both going through job issues yeah right both you guys and, and that's a tough one and i know it's a hot button for a lot of people out there because a lot of people fight about finances so if you guys are both going through you know let's say job issues you know you have to ask yourself like how do you support your partner when you're going through it too mm -hmm. so it's it, there's got to be a happy medium somewhere in there and i really think it you know learning your partner and your partner's behaviors and some of your partner's gestures and picking up on just signs behaviors and different things that you've picked up over the years months trends. weeks trends you know um i think it's important to pay attention to it and then apply it to how you're reacting or how you're handling the situation yeah i mean i, I think you know the, the the one you know that's one of the biggest arguments and divorce breakers is financial problems with the couples mm -hmm. and you know whether you're single or you're a couple it doesn't discriminate there's people that just are not financially sound or know what to do with money or they're really bad with money okay mm, yeah. uh, and at that point you know that affects the partner that affects the person and you know the financial thing if you know you're both losing your job per se right then you got to come up with a plan together you know whether it's you got to help each other out I mean, you might only have one car so you have to go hey listen i'm gonna take you to yours or you're gonna take me to my interview and you know this is how we're gonna work it so you have to have a game plan together so i think communication talking is key to this always communication is um, key you know, and coming up with a battle plan instead of fighting each other on it i think you know being open with the, your your partner and being able to help in that light is going to help you guys both out and you know one one gets up and at that point the other one gets up and then you guys are both up together and you guys can't right. both be down or both be up at the same time if you guys are both going through it at the same time it's tough you know I, I, there's, listen you know we're, we're not immune to stuff like that too there's been bad things that have happened to me and Sharice and it hit us both at the same point in time so at that point it's like you know we both had to do what we had to do to get up together right and we both support each other and there's been a lot of different things i mean you know a minute thing you know in the light of things not to me obviously is you know my dog just getting cancer right lymphoma so that hit the family real hard we're all down 
-hmm. You know, it's hard to get up just when just talking about that situation. That's not a relationship thing, but it's just a little fine tuned. Well, I mean, it's kind of one of the reasons why we maybe did this episode too. We like to try to keep it current with even like what's going on with me and John. Um, Sometimes it has nothing to do with what's going on with me and John because me and John, some of the things we bring up on here. We've already been there, done that. Yeah. We're going to do it again kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, we're definitely not doing it again. So, you know, um, but, you know, finding out something like that, that takes a toll on the entire family, obviously, because pets are, you know, kids. You know, they are our kids. So, you know, I got like, I got like seven kids, you know, mm-hmm. I, John's dad counts as two. But regardless, you know, they are like kids. So, um, you know, you, you got to figure out, like, you know, when one person's down, like, you know, which one is going to, you know, I mean, both of you guys can cry at the same time, but, you know, which one of you guys is going to do a pat on the back and be like, all right, it's going to be okay. And then the next one's going to be like, all right, it's going to be okay. And you guys have each other's, you know, learning who they are. Some people, they want to be left alone and they just need to process it. Mm-hmm. You know, they gotta, they gotta process it and they wanna be left alone. And it doesn't mean you have to leave them alone for days, just you gotta maybe leave them alone for a little bit, mm-hmm. let them process it and just let them go through it. You know, whatever, the, however they handle it. I mean, I was even telling my son, you know, people handle things differently. And that goes for relationships too. Everybody handles things differently. Some people, they want you to be by their side mm-hmm. and just maybe ask them every five minutes, like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I mean, some, some people actually want that. You know, it's, it's crazy to think that, but maybe they don't want time to process it, which they're going to have to process it eventually. But maybe they don't, and they want to be, you know, sidetracked, per se. So, you know, you really need to yeah. learn your partners, you know, what they want, what they need, and, you know, be able to provide that for them based on what you know about them. I agree. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think, I think that's a good point. I definitely think it's a good point. I mean, for, for couples out there that are, you know, experiencing things like this, you know, like I said, supporting communication and having a game plan together on where you guys are going to go to succeed mm-hmm. with this. Um, and, and nobody's immune to it either, right? Like I said, we're, we have examples of our lives. You know, my friends have examples of their lives. I'm sure you have your own examples of your own life uh, and your relationships too as well. So, you know, with this, you know, there's different ways to, you know, to be able to handle some of these other pressures too because not just all financial. There's, uh, there's different things, you know, there's expectations that you maybe wanted to achieve and, and that's kind of bringing you down and that's a pressure on you that you haven't accomplished it yet, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have this job by 25, I'm going to be retired by 40 or whatever it may be and that, it never that's happens. That's mine, that's mine. It never happens, right? <laughs> that's or, happening for me. Or, or it's been delayed for some reason or another. A little bit, yeah. and, and, you know, you start feeling pressure on that. Women start feeling pressure if they haven't had kids, you know, some women, I'm not saying all, but... You know, women have pressure they haven't had kids by a certain point, right? Because, they, you know, the biological clock is ticking. You know, in, in the future we live in today, girls can have, you know, kids a lot older, but this is something of concern. It's something that goes on internally with some of the women. Um, you know, guys, you know, it's, you know, it's a whole, whole different expectation of what you want to be and how you want to be, and, and that's a life pressure too as well. Um, and just fitting in wherever you're at, right? Your social... Uh, uh, climate of a people and, and having those pressures of those peoples right whether it's keeping up with the joneses and this person has this and you're you're, you're trying to you know it's not you're trying to compete but you, you're automatically in that rat race yeah to a I certain agree. extent right yeah i definitely um agree. you get you get kind of dragged into that and that's another life pressure you might have to deal with there's somebody out there and then kids that's another aspect of a relationship then when you pressures. get to that level of pressures, you know, um, it, it, you got to be able to agree to disagree and then disagree and then agree again, you know, on different things yeah. with, with what's going on with your kids. And hopefully, you know, you stay in that relationship with your partner and, the, you know, the child has a father and a mother that are right there. But that doesn't happen a lot either these days, no, no. you know, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, no, no problem if you want to get a divorce. We've had a divorce. That is what it is. But, you know, at that point, you know, it's like, you know, you want to do what's best for the kid. And listen, if you guys can't get along together and you guys are better separate, then that's what's best for the kid, I guess. Um, you know, it, it, everybody's different. And for my eyes, it, I don't think so. But some people's eyes, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we're old school. So, you know, you know work through it, think, make it happen. I think you got to work out the problems. I think uh, there's... Or try. There's too many people out there that want to take the easy way out. Yeah, and they just so, give up too easily. It's so easy to pull, pull that, you know, that parachute and just, you know, get out and inject. 
So, you know, it, it's, it's tougher to stay in that, work out the issues, but. Remember though, utilize all of your scenarios as you guys grow together, because that's what's supposed mm -hmm. to happen. Utilize every single one of them. Don't look at them as a bad situation. Try to turn it into a positive thing where it's like, okay, this is just another building block on top mm -hmm. of another thing that we're gonna build our big relationship on. Yep. You know, we're gonna get through it together. We're, whether it's your problem, my problem, our problem, it doesn't matter, we're gonna get through it together. Yep. That's gonna be the key. Definitely. So that's it. Another week of Cupid's Corner by me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. Uh, make sure you guys can tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. here on ABC. Or if you don't get to catch on ABC, you can DVR it. And if you're not in the state of Florida, no problem. It's on all our social media platforms. But I would go over to YouTube <laughs> and go over there and subscribe after you type in Tight Medical Center and find our uh, page. Yep. Subscribe, get to see all these great shows and more. And then me and Sharice are always gonna be bringing great topics and information for you guys to help you guys out. And if you guys have anything you think we'd like to talk about or you wanna talk about, then just send us a DM and maybe we'll bring it up on a show and uh, answer your questions or go over these different things for you guys. So we see you next week, 11 a.m. Sunday on ABC for another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife Sharice. See you then.